Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here, and today in the this Monster Legends Leaks video, I have some brand new Cosmic Mythics to show you, along with some new events and new movesets. So let's get right into that. So the first new Cosmic Mythic is Fire Restar. We did already look at this monster like two days ago, but we did not have his design. So this is actually what he looks like. He looks like a Christmas tree version of Nemestrinus. So, yeah, but I think there was already a Christmas tree version of Nemestrinus. So, this might just be a complete copy of that guy, but yeah, he'll be from PvP, so it'll be pretty easy to get. And I think we did already look at his moveset, and it was okay. So, definitely try to get him. He seems pretty good, and he's gonna be easy to get. So, yeah, try to get him. And then the next two Cosmic Mythics are Roost Wayne and Zupper Fox. So, these both will be in mazes, as you see in the top left and top right hand side of your screen. And they look pretty cool. They're Cosmic Mythic, so they're probably not going to be trash. They'll at least be decent. And yeah, they have pretty good design. So hopefully they'll be easy to get out of the mazes. And let's move on to the next event. So the next event is War Master Spotlight Babari's season. So Babari is a War Master. And they have new War Masters rotate every season. So Babari will be back and you will be able to get him through the Heroic Dungeon using your Heroic Orbs. So yeah, if you want him, definitely try to get him. And then El Colossal Magic versus Light will be happening. And that means you'll be able to get all of the Magic and Light legendaries, including the Elites, the Nemesis, the all just all of the legendaries. So yeah, hopefully you guys can get those because some of them are really good, especially the Light ones. Lum is really good. That's the Light Nemesis. Hopefully you guys can get it. And yeah, that's all of the information on that event. And then there's Chimney's moveset. So I leaked Chimney two days ago, and he's a pretty cool design. He looks like a chimney. Judging by his name, they probably meant to do that. Now let's look at his moves. So the first decent one is, I guess, deals moderate metal damage and applies stun to one enemy. That's not that good, but I guess that's the first okay one. And then the next one, Rest at Bonfire, activates all cooldowns on one enemy. That's pretty good. But as we saw in one of my last videos, some monsters are actually getting cooldown activated block. So they will actually be able to block cooldowns activated, which is going to definitely counter that move. And then the next good one, I guess I kind of want to look for an AoE. Okay, deals low metal damage to all enemies, applies stun to all enemies for cross cooldown. And then especially steals massive fire damage to all enemies, applies burn to all enemies, applies ignite to all enemies, and applies mega stun to all enemies. So his special is really good, but his moves aren't that good. So I guess, I don't know, I guess it just depends. Hopefully he gets some buffs before he comes out, because he just doesn't seem that good to me. And then the next guy is Robo Elf. We can look at his moveset. We did leak his design like two days ago. So if you want to see that, definitely go to that video. And let's look at his moves. So the first decent one is deals moderate thunder damage to all enemies. Applies shock to all enemies. Applies a random torture skill to all enemies. Okay, the next move is deals metal damage to all enemies. Applies ignite to one enemy. And applies shock to one enemy. Oh, it actually deals heavy metal damage to one enemy, not all enemies. So that is a single target move. It seems really good. And then unboxing time disables trait to itself. Wait, what? And then applies true vision to itself, applies triple damage to itself during during one turn. Or cross cooldown. That doesn't seem that good. Why would you want to disable your trait? That does not seem very good. And it only gives you triple damage for one turn. I don't know how I feel about this monster. It does not seem that good. Its next move is deals heavy metal damage to all enemies, applies ignite to all enemies, applies shock to all enemies, applies a random torture skill to all enemies. His special seems okay, but him as a monster just doesn't seem too good. It's kind of interesting that he disables his own trait. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but I guess we'll have to wait until we can see his trait. So the next event is Monster Week Magic versus Light. You will be able to breed all of the magic and light monsters in this El Colossal event. So yeah, that's another one of those where you can breed all of the magic and light monsters. That is actually the same event as that, but it looks like it will be going on for a week as it says right here, but it might only be for a day. So the El Colossal event might only be for a day, but you will be able to buy magic and light monsters in the shop for a whole week. So definitely try to do that if you want to spend gems on legendaries. I don't know if that's a good idea though. And then Cosmic Era Season 6 Survival Dungeon. You'll be able to get some Cosmic Era chests. They do these every season. And I guess Cosmic Era chests are good. You can get some Stardust, some Amber, stuff like that. 
And then we have actually some new information. So Chimney is going to be the free pass monster. And then Roddy is going to be the pay monster for 40 bucks. And then the Shildon, I think that's his name, is going to be the Golden Legends Pass monster. So yeah, that's the information on that. So if you want Shildon, you do have to pay money. If you want Roddy, you do have to pay money. So yeah, that's about all the leaks we have for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.